Howdy cowdies. How we going? Happy New Year. Merry Ho Ho and all that sort of thing. We're BIT back in town. Weekly walkabout time at the Collector for the Australiana and Decorative Art Sale. And holy dooly, we've got a bloody great auction this week. Farlap tobacco tin. Nice little Trent Artware Pottery Kookaburra. Pretty cool little medallion here, I think, from the last, or from Tasmania 1853 or something. Amazing little oriental sort of uh, sewing box there with all the little bone, carved bone implements and stuff inside. Mint $10 coins in their boxes. Patrol tobacco tins. Senate's little waxed ice cream cup. Some fantastic sort of sample tea tins and little bushel sample tins that are money boxes and a little RPM oil can over the backs of money box. Bloody good stuff this week, guys. Little kiwi boot polish sort of clacker. Some gold scraps. More good Australian tobacco tins. Pretty amazing coin album here as well. All Australian pre-decimal coinage. What else have we got? Tins, tins and tins and some other stuff. Nice little Victorian games table. Edwards Ensign Tea, Griffiths Tea, Griffiths Tea, 1934-1834 Melbourne Centenary, Victorian Centenary. Lovely sort of little matchstick craft Australian box. Pascal's Fruit Bonbon Tins, an absolute snorkeler. She's lovely as well. The Art Nouveau Plasterware Lamp Base. What else have we got in here? Not much in the front little cabinet, but I'll show you as quickly. Another nice Green Valley Tea Tin. These nice caddy products, Melbourne. Ladies bag, a little group of interesting sort of Australian pottery and stuff. I think that's it for the front cabinet. Multi Brits tin, he's a cracker. Love this Bentwood rocking chair. One of my favourite bits, that is. Love it. Cool old sewing machine, sort of industrial look about it. Cutlery, first aid, a pair of shorts from the 1970s that are mint. Got the original tag on them. Damn cool. A couple of nice jackets, little bluey Norwellian ones, a ripper. Um, DC Western wear, US made cowboy shirt, band shirts, ladies dresses, 50s frocks, cool in this 80s blue leather backless dress, pretty amazing, more band shirts, gents jackets, leather, military jacket Australian, more band shirts, another nice Australian military great coat, it's got all the colour patches and stuff on it, it's a lovely navy uniform down in here as well and some more Australian military stuff, golf clubs, speakers, Electrical testing gear. This is a big group up at the top there with pictures and crystal. Little boxes here of electrical components and diodes and stuff. Some good cassette tapes in here. Good big lot of DVDs. Three boxes. Two boxes of records. What else have we got, guys? Scales and weights. Sort of work table there with a nice big sort of wheel on the end. Another pretty cool little workstation here as well with a little drill and everything on it. Kind of like these things. They're all sort of sewing machine pedals and stuff, but God, some of them are pretty cool. Like great wah-wah pedals or something. Uh, what else have we got? Furniture. Yeah, the Peter's Light Up ice cream cones being sold this week. Fantastic thing. Boxes of mixed items, footy records. Fantastic collection of cigarette cards. Some CDs. This little, a nice little group like with a Bentwood chair and three gramophones. This is a pretty amazing travelling jewellery box. Nice little kangaroo back Bentwood, or kangaroo back cottage chair. Plants old toilet soap, point of sale cabinet. Beautiful thing. Fantastic photograph, Peace, Peace Day, Victory March in Melbourne, 1919. The easels being sold separately as well. What else have we got? A big George Bell oil painting. George W. Bell, I think it is. Uh, a little Robert Miller, I think this is. Abstract watercolour, nice big Salvatore Zofria coloured etching. It's got little landscapes cute as well. Uh, the double sided plume enamelled signs, pretty cool with a big sort of wall mount flange on it. Some nice cake and Kato's tins. More hats, more pottery and stuff in here as well. Records, more tins, Japanese woodblock prints. What else have we got? Pretty cool little Australian prize wine cardboard poster. It's a nice little old painting by Neil Douglas. Great little thing. Little Piers Bateman oil as well. Another lovely little thing. I think he was um, Arthur Boyd's nephew. 
It's a nice pairs print or pairs style print. It's pretty cool as well. Lovely old victory box. Kits Apple Cider. And El Kits and Sons Melbourne. The Irving's Pure, Austra Irvine's Pure Australian Wine Enamelled Signs of Ripper. I think that's going to be the What's It Worth. Another Kits and Son Wine poster at the top there as well. Cardboard sign. Beautiful riding box. This thing's amazing. Lovely bit Victorian. It's got this cool little sort of secret compartment in it. I just sort of pull this little thing here up. All of a sudden the top opens and it exposes the little drawers on the inside. Nice little ivory knobs and stuff. Really cool thing. All original with the ink wells in it. All original ink wells. Great bit. This is unreal as well. Nice little kids original Fonet Bentwood. It's got a little sort of metal structure underneath strengthening it. A lovely little sort of tobacco box or something like that, smoking box. Some nice pears prints, all original ones. Some guy saluting some other guy. Little cuties with their bunny rabbits. This is pretty cool as well. I think he's, this the young bloke on the right hand side's had a little bit too much. And she's cool as well. <laughs> it's market Christmas time. <laughs> I didn't, he said it, not me. Some nice bottles, more Australian sort of tins, unusual that bland to tea. Uh, McHugh and Melrose, some lovely, more nice tins, some glass, renewed baskets, Eric Juckett salt glaze, Harry Mamet's got a bit of a crack unfortunately, some nice McRobb stuff, nice little group lot here with the brownie downing plate over the back, Italian art glass, the big fish is signed, got a little bit of damage though, pottery again, some advertising rulers, cameras, lovely Victorian glassware, more good tins. Little baker like cooker, cigarette dispenser. Lovely. I kind of like that deco tin over the back there. Nice little bits of Australian sort of poker work. Another nice little jucket one here. Charles Wilton pottery. Dyson pottery. Really like the Benzedrine inhaler. Sort of little point of sale sign. St Kilda Lager bottle of beer. Nice little signed Louis Kahan book. Some more good bits of John Campbell and other pottery. Lovely hat there. Commonwealth of Australia peace officer on the pith helmet. Nice little Victorian wash jug, a couple of nice pickaxe bottles, sort of World War II police helmet, big Edwards tea tins of cracker, kitchen's, kitchen's shaving powder, almost tripped over a stool, Weg posters or original Weg drawings, pretty cool little Singer sewing machine, industrial light, and also we've got big sort of sugar tin there as well, interesting bit of Australian pottery there with a the sort of nude bathers and the fish, some hats. Another big Edwards and Coen's and tea. Bloody good auction this week, guys. This is one of my favourite lots. Swallow and Ariel. Compressed dried parsnips. Guess what? Yeah, <laughs> they're still in there. <laughs> little group, a lot of wooden items. Nice little carved kookaburra bookend. Some Aboriginal sort of tribal spears. Big carved snakes, pretty cool. Some nice Victorian boxes. Deco light shade. More sort of Bendigo pottery. Phoenix Biscuit tin's cool, nice bit of art pottery over the back, probably a wudgie, it's not signed. Campbell, Remued, Fowler, little shanty stools are funny, all Remued, the Aero tin over the back's a ripper, Ellis, Bendigo, Remued, Staffordshire, bloody hell. Another lovely sugar tin there, Walton's Cocoa Chocolate Confectionery, Bendigo, some lovely old sort of fans, more Australian tins, marbles. I really like this little poker work there with the owl, Remued, McHugh, nice old bottles, more bits of Remued, more tins, more Remued, little Barsoni, little bare polishing wax as a ripper with a koala on it. It's pretty cool as well, Instant Valo Molten Milk made by HC Slay, who did uh, Golden Fleece. Cobra, gas mask, more point of sale advertising. What else have we got? Second and last cabinet now, guys. Lovely walking sticks, bayonets, military hats. Bill Onus boomerang there is nice. Couple of nice bits of art glass. The icon over the back is interesting. Couple of lovely bits of sort of turned wood. I really like the comport. The nice teapots, coffee pots. More tins. Lovely old Victorian glassware. Melbourne exhibition. Mrs. Williams, 1880. Another little one there to go with it. Bushels Coffee Point of Sale signs a ripper. Lovely little marble bust. Digestive tea bud sign. 
smaller and aerial tins of cracker. This is one of my favourite bits as well. The Colonel's golf balls. Hey, who? The Colonel. Melrose, Toodle, Nestle's piece over the back. Another bit of Melrose. A couple of nice old ginger beer bottles. More point of sale cardboard signs over the back. What else have we got into the end cabinet now, guys? Beautiful big uh, knife and cutlery sort of sharpener, polisher. There's a little bit of knife polish there and the tin to go with it. Lovely old letter spikes, paper clips, Glen Valley tea, Toodles tea. It's interesting to meet the Craig's nice and light self-raising flower tin there. Sturt Street, Armstrong, Armstrong and Air Street, Ballarat. These are nice. Who made this sculpture, Mark? I've forgotten. Arkapenko or something? Someone like that. It's a pretty cool little heavy bronze piece, I'm pretty sure. Good little thing. It's all signed in the back. I just can't bloody get to it. Here's an interesting tin as well with a little cameo image on the front. What else? We've got some lovely Victorian penny lick little sort of ice cream cups. Laurel kerosene tins a ripper. Top brand horticultural manure manufactured by in Adelaide. There you go. They know their shit over there. <laughs> Johnny Campbell mug there with Tasmania across the front. These are nice little poker work, sort of handcrafted kookaburras. One's a little sewing aid, one's a smoking one. Hillcrest tea tin. Lovely old carved Australian box over the back there. The Allen's Irish Moss gum jubes tin is a cracker. I really like this as well. The Pascal Sweets. Big point of sale glass sort of confectionery jar. Shell Tox is a great little bit there from the front of a shelf. Unusual bit of Melrose, Australian Lemon Selts tin. Here's another ripper as well. This swallow and Aereo's decorated Christmas tin. It's got uh, good old Charles Kingsford Smith's plane on the top there. Some interesting bit of English art pottery over the back. And the owl's a bit of a hoot. Remude, McHugh, Bendigo, lovely art deco atomizer. Really nice bit. Another lovely big bit of Melrose there with the possums. The big choice nectar tea tin to ripper from John Connell Melbourne. Another nice bit of Deco, Melrose, John Campbell. And we're getting our out to the top shelf now, guys. This is some bloody fantastic shit. This little bucket, absolutely great bit with the image of St Kilda Beach on one side and Brighton Beach on the other. Really cool thing made in Melbourne. Pascal Sweet Bonbons tin underneath, it's a separate lot. A little nice little bit of Castle Harris pottery. There's a little bit of damage on him though. Bit of a shame. Mickey Mouse tin's a ripper. This McClintock's Jelly Crystal Bucket is one of my favourites as well. Australia's Best Jelly Crystals on the other side. Bloody fantastic bit. This is a Will Longstaff watercolour. Fantastic Australian artist. I think he's well known for painting the ghosts of Men and Gate. World War I painting, which, which you would have seen the image of before. It's a lovely little thing by him. McHugh, Louisa Taylor, Remude, Campbell, Campbell. The Leeming's Bootstore Bits of Cracker. Lovely beach bucket tin. AJC Jam for the Nursery Signs of Cracker. Really like that little bit of McHugh actually with the three handles. Swallow and Ariel's Noah's Ark Biscuit Tins and Absolute Snorkeler. This one's a ripper as well. Swallow and Ariel Biscuit Manufacturers Port Melbourne underneath the lid. It's in ridiculously good condition for its age and everything. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Anyway, I could keep rambling for another half an hour. We've got that much good shit. But that'll do. Hopefully you had a good New Year and a good Christmas. Hopefully Santa brought you what you wanted. If he didn't, come along and buy a tin or something on Thursday night. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. See you around like a wrestle.